Hey loves, I'm so sorry because the beginning of this video where I actually showed you how to apply a lace frontal and sew it down properly to fit, I actually deleted it. So I will have to remake a new how I make a lace frontal video for you guys. But I'm really upset about it because the beginning of the video is gone. The only portion that I do have is this portion here that I'm about to show you guys of me with it styled and what products I use. But the other portion that I do have is kind of like the ending of me sewing on the lace frontal. So I will try to include little snippets of that. But I do apologize, you guys. All right, you guys. So I'm finally done with this wig. So once I was done with it, it was really super easy. I did tweeze the front hairline of it because I just wanted to look as natural as possible. So I leave it actually on the wig block mannequin head. And I just sit there and I tweeze away with my scissors. I mean, not my scissors, excuse me, my tweezers. And it comes out really easy. So I did sew some combs in the front of it. But I should have sewed an elastic band in it. I got one right here. Um, but I didn't. I just said, you know what? For this go around, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, I left the lace on. But as you can see, it's got some color. Some really pretty color in it. So in the front, I more or less kind of focus more on the color in the front a little bit. Because you guys know it's fall time. The seasons have changed. It's spicy pumpkin season and stuff like that so I wanted to get more or less a fall color you guys know I do it really easy I've showed this on numerous videos so um but I've done it um, a little bit different this time around but definitely if you want to see me do it again I definitely will have no problem showing you guys that but you know I don't use bleach all the time because it's just a lot more harsher plus it can bring you a lot of brassy tones and you have to fix that so I try to alleviate all the extra hard work and I use box hair dye for when I'm doing virgin hair, I always use either Dark and Lovely or Cream of Nature because it just is a lot stronger. This particular color I used was Honey Blonde. And normally, I will buy like four boxes of these. But I only had three boxes. And guess what? I only used two boxes. I mixed two together at one time. And they were all the same color. And it worked out really well. Um, I didn't take the hair and just throw it on there. Because if you're going to do that, then you're probably going to need more than two boxes. But I just mixed it in a huge bowl. And I took my um, hair dye and brush and I painted the hair on and kind of like used the bottom portion of the brush like the teeth part of the brush this part I had the brush like laying this way and I was kind of like raking it in and it gave me these type of highlights sometimes I'll use like a highlighting cap but when you use a highlighting cap you can't get all of the color or all of the hair so you'll be left with like dark part portions underneath in the back which is no biggie but for this one I just did it like this and the color came out so pretty and rich you know what I'm saying so it's like a F1B30 you know something like that it still does smell like the hair dye but this is the easiest way that I like to do it because like I said you don't get any type of brassy tones and on top of that even if you forget to take it off and you leave it on too long it doesn't keep processing it'll stop processing it doesn't really damage the hair like bleach would but definitely um try out dark and lovely or cream of nature cream of nature is a little bit more expensive like about two dollars but no big deal but just also keep in mind that when you're looking at the results on the side page here on the side of the box your hair is not going to come out like that color for the first time so you know if you got like a dark brown or whatever it's not going to come out like this fake beyonce girl color like it shows on the side it's not going to come out that color it's going to come out more or less this color this chocolatey brown and you will definitely have to do it again if you're up to doing it again but i use this one there is a lighter color um also, which I have, and um, by Dark and Lovely, that I'm going to be using in another um, on another wig, and that's more or less like a platinum blonde. Also, Cream of Nature does have one called Ginger Blonde, which makes it a little bit lighter than this. Not by much, but a little bit lighter. Like, but it's really, really pretty. Like, I have done like several wigs of um, that I have my favorite curly one. But anyway, so <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just rambling on. So, this is like a loose and natural wave and I did use my barrel curl wand to curl it up a little bit more because I wanted it a lot neater like when I did it, when I let it hang up to, to dry upside down but it wasn't neat waves so I wanted it a, bit, a little bit neater, okay? And I wanted to style it different anyway. So like I was saying, I concentrated more on the color up here and I did leave the roots dark as you guys can see. I didn't do anything but just not touch the roots. But yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the lace off. And like I tell you guys a million times, I'm always telling you guys, the best thing to do is some small scissors. If you're going to use like, some small scissors, okay? I don't really like to use the bigger scissors. These are curved, so small curved scissors are really great. You can find them anywhere, Walmart. Okay, so in case I never told you guys, I have worked with Allie Grace like 
several times in the past. Um, they are from AliExpress. They do have some really bomb ass hair, so just keep that in mind as well. Um, it always holds up. Um, I think it seems like every time I get some of their hair, I'm always like doing extra to it, like dyeing it or something. I don't really know why. So I didn't bleach the knots in the closure. I just didn't really feel like it because that's one thing I just don't like. I've done it a couple times where it messed up and then sometimes it's really good. So, you know, the easiest thing for a girl to do is use her pressed powder. This is easy, easy, easy. And I'm going to just put that all over the roots. Not over the inside, the entire inside, but just like in selected areas. All right, you guys, let's try this out. All right, girls, so let's get into this wig. So as you guys know, I did sew three combs with this unit. No elastic tape this time because I really didn't need it. The wig actually fits really, really snug to my head. Now, this is probably about the fourth or fifth time for me to be able to work with Ali Grace here from AliExpress and I'm going to tell you guys this much their package is their packaging is really really sleek and very professional along with their hair quality is very very nice it does stand up I have bleached and bleached many different hairs from them and they have held up so I would highly suggest them as one of the best AliExpress vendors now with this unit as you guys know I just used my box dye and the color came out so pretty it's like this chestnut brown um, this is loose wave hair, but I did use my barrel curler just to give it more defined curls and just to peak up the volume. The funny thing about this one is it's shorter bundles, two 16s, a 14 inch bundle and a 14 inch lace frontal. So as you guys seen, I went ahead and I took my styling mousse and I applied some of that to the front portion of the wig unit because I'm going to just wet the hair before laying the hairs down to make baby hairs. Now I do have my own baby hairs as you guys see, but I do this because I don't like to paste or glue or gel down too much of the wigs baby hairs because the wig unit can get really hard and I don't want any of the gel to get in the lace making it a little bit harder to clean so that is the reason why I wear my own baby hairs along with some of the wig unit so it kind of like makes it look a little bit more natural along with that it kind of hides the hairline of the lace unit now as I was saying um, I do like to use the box hair dye only because it's just a lot safer to me definitely a lot easier if you don't get any brassy tones um, I've only really used dark and lovely and creamy of nature to lighten hair when I'm darkening it um, I really just darken the colors like red or such but definitely when I'm lightening or lightening the hair I like to use like dark and lovely or cream of nature because the formula is just really really strong in the dye now I'm just going to go ahead and finish styling this bad boy I really do like the unit it's very full um, there's probably like 12 inches of hair left to the unit or to the left over rather there's probably about 12 inches of hair left over but the hair is very full I love the color it screams fall you know pumpkin spice chestnut like you know really really pretty reds and it's just highlighted so I hope you guys enjoyed this and definitely stick around for the ending okay you guys yes look at this hair like okay First of all, super cute. Okay, it came out really, really nice. I really do like this length. Um, you guys know, I kind of went back to this length. I used all the hair. It's probably like about, um, it was probably like about, I want to say like a foot of hair left, I think, something like that. I tried to use all the hair. I really didn't even have to because this is a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. Like, you know how you could put something on and you can feel that it's a lot of hair? This is how it feels. Like, it feels like it's a lot of hair. You know what I'm saying? But I do like the way it came out. It came out really, really cute. Like, I'm glad that I, I didn't even cut anything. I didn't do anything but just, you know, what I said I did to it. But I didn't even cut it. But I do like it curl like this. Like, it's really, really cute. And plus, it just fits my head. So, like, I think, like, it just fits my head. It fits perfectly. I don't even need the elastic band in the back because it's not roomy. Like, I guess I just... Did it to fit perfectly you know what i'm saying um but it does fit really really comfortably that is for sure um what else was i gonna say the hair didn't dry out it may be a little bit dry but it might be from i think it's from like the hair dye and the stuff that i put in the hair like the hairspray or whatever but 
for the most part their hair is really good quality hair like I've done so many different things to the hair that I've received from them so you can definitely bleach it I bleached one bundle of hair or like a bundles of hair that they gave me like twice, three times and it still was really really healthy and sleek and just pretty the only thing I had to do was like cut the ends but other than that it was like amazing and I feel the same way for this one too it's really full and it's cute and it's like totally different for me um because you know my hair be much 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 longer but I do like this because it's just something different so definitely check them out I will post all of their information for you guys below let me know what you think of this hair color as well as that I hope you guys have a great week stay deep and delicious and I will see you guys soon